Hello and welcome back to Gran Turismo 7. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video and it has been quite a few weeks since I have played this title. Uh, we are in whatever version is out on the 18th of June or came out a few days before. It's at 1.16 and the reason I haven't recorded aside from not having the time is that on 1.15 the force feedback on my wheel was absolutely atrocious. I've not tried it with 1.16, I have heard rumours that they have restored it, but apparently there's also a number of things that may not be right with it. So I'm going to try this out today, but I'm going to try and continue with my sort of career, and we are going to do a circuit experience today for the first time ever. I've never done circuit experiences. I have no idea what this is and how it works, I'm guessing it teaches you the circuit. So. Let's give it a go, let's see what happens, and uh, really I'm trying to figure out what kind of content to make for um, for Gran Turismo, because I could just do a bunch of racing, but I do want to try and do other racing titles, a set of course, um, namely, I want to try and do something with it, so there's got to be something that I can do in Gran Turismo that's more unique to Gran Turismo. Livery designs, things like that, maybe... I do like the tuning of cars and the racing and all of that kind of stuff in Gran Turismo, but I'm, I'm just not sure. So anyway, I'm working on that, and whilst I do that, I'm just going to continue with my career as normal. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the circuit experience. Let's see what comes up, how it works, and let's see if my wheel is any better uh, now than it was before or worse. I guess there's only one way to find out. Okay, so the one I'm supposed to do is Garden Circuit, and do I have to do all of these to to earn this book, or complete this menu, whatever it is? All gold, 500,000, all bronze, 200,000. Okay, so you do get money for this, that's good. And each bit looks like it's, okay, so you've got a 27, so what is this, 27.6 for one section so okay you do sections at a time I'm going to put on my gloves here and we'll have to figure out what this car is going to be capable of ah okay I'm competing against people on my PSN network uh, Tebo Toast in the lead she has a 27.3 all right Tebo Toast you're going down well maybe I don't know how does this work I'll try and I've got to get used to this title all over again. Yep, that was so incredibly, utterly slow. And where are we supposed to be going? Okay. I think I can get a gold there. Yeah, yeah, I, can, I think I can get a gold there. Did that Sarah person just say you finished the race? That wasn't a race. That's a wee bit of practice needed there. Yeah, it's, it's a speed through this corner. So the last racing thing I did was a failed Assetto Corsa video. By the way, that's why there hasn't been an Assetto Corsa video in a while. Um, I did make a couple and then absolutely failed on them massively, so... Okay, there's the bronze at least. Let's go again. I'm, I'm more determined to, to get this now. I have to say, again, the one thing Gran Turismo has that is beyond... Uh, that's atrocious. The one thing that Gran Turismo had that I think is beyond anything I have ever ever seen is the graphics. Um, the graphical quality in this title is is just sublime, absolutely sublime. Yeah, this this corner is 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 catching me off guard. I'm just not comfortable with how to run through it. Oh dear. 
And oddly enough, I will say the force feedback on this is not very, it's not very, um, it's not very good at the moment. It really is not. Okay, maybe that was a better turn. I'm not entirely sure. It's, it's not giving me much feeling anymore. Mind you, I've got to check, Did I do I have it in the right mode? That's the other thing to check. 28.1, that could go to silver. I think I need to... Uh, five is... Yeah, five is for... Yeah. Fifth mode is for Gran Turismo. Number one is for a set of cool... Right, number one is generally for PC. Okay. Um, in other in other news, I did uh, I did decide to do the I did the what's it called uh, understeer that was horrible. I have no idea whether I'm ahead or oh yeah I am ahead. Oh, and we're coming towards the gold. Okay. So there we go. I did do the special license. I've done a couple more special license rounds. Um, I did the Ferrari at Monza, which was surprisingly easy. Um, I am shocked at how easy the Ferrari at Monza was. Wow, I really took a lot of speed through there, didn't I? I think I'm about dead on, yeah. Um, so I got gold in, in the Ferrari at Monza, which, um, as I said, was surprisingly easy. I thought I had a, so I did it, uh, I did it once to try and learn what was what, because I wasn't obviously entirely certain as to what I was doing uh, where. So I did that as a starter, uh, learn my breaking points, things like that. Once I'd figured those out, it was just a case of, um, it was just a case of, is that going to be, ah, oh, I'm doing the exact same time, I feel like I'm doing the exact same time. It was just a case of throwing a lap together and my, I think I had one where I messed up at Ascari, where I felt like it was a good lap and then I went slightly wide at Ascari and just went, well, that's just a uh, flop that. Please tell me that was fast. I mean, I felt like my exit was really slow, but at least maybe my entrance was fast. Oh, that's messed that up. Never mind. I had that. I think I had that in the bag. Um, so I messed about a scary and I thought, oh, well, I had a good lap going and it was, I think it was fairly, fairly quick. Uh, I wasn't sure what kind of speed though, was it uh, a gold standard, was it a silver, I wasn't sure. And then I did another lap and it was definitely a lot, lot worse. Without without a shadow of a doubt, the, the lap was a lot worse, it was incredibly scruffy, I wasn't happy with the lap in the slightest. Um, and yet, oh, there you go, 27.3. Okay, that'll do. Um, and then... I yeah, there we go. That's okay. That was pretty close. Uh, I'll probably go to a replay and take a take a shot, a screenshot of that or something. And I thought, oh, this is going to be maybe just maybe scraping a bronze, and it gives me a gold. I thought, wow, that was way way too easy, like beyond easy for that. I was expecting a lot. Well, as I said, I was expecting it to be a lot lot harder just turned out to be extremely extremely easy and that's the that's the sort of, sort of shot I'm after at the moment just looking up at the mountains oh that actually there we go so if I do that prepare said camera bring it down low just working on a couple of angles here I 
I'm not particularly a fan of this car, so I'm not I'm not looking to I'm not looking to take an incredible screenshot or anything like that. I'm not yeah, I don't particularly like this vehicle. I'm just looking for something that will give me a decent thumbnail. Maybe there. Yeah, I'm, I'm just literally looking for a decent thumbnail here. Uh, that this this car just does not lend itself very nicely to um to pictures. It just uh, the the proportions are just seem wrong on this car. Maybe if I zoom out a little or move away a little and then use a higher focal length, that might give me a little yeah slightly better proportions or it looks like slightly better proportions there unfortunately what that then means is that the mountain disappears so perhaps i'd have to take it the other side where maybe i might catch a mountain a little bit more yeah, i do catch it just a bit more let's just go ahead and do that as i said i'm not really too fussed with this particular car it's not a it's not a car i particularly like um so there we go. And yeah, as I was saying about this Ascari thing, it's just went through it. Gold. Okay, that will do. I'm not really too fussed. Uh, then I went ahead and tried out um, the Formula car at Laguna Seca. Um, that was substantially harder. So I'm guessing, do I have to do all of these? Well, let, let's go through all of them. Let's see. This one looks like this could be fairly easy. Um, as I said, I've got to slow... With me, my thing is it takes me a little bit of time to get used to uh, doing this. It's not a, it's not a, just a, a simple, oh, let's just jump in and, and get it done. I, I like building myself up to it. So I want to see what this one's all about. So I guess this is just the hairpin. Okay, good start. Good start. I know what not to touch. I'm not sure how that threw my car off, but I guess it makes sense. Okay, I just missed a gear, so that was my... Oh, I missed a gear. I didn't press it at the right time. This is not difficult. Um, so 16.3 to beat. I'm on a 16.6 essentially. Actually, it might be a lot harder to beat than I think. No, there you go. Done. That'll do. I'm not really, f I'm not really interested in, as I said, I'm not interested in topping times or anything like that. 15.7, well, okay. Maybe I should be trying to get a 15.7 there. Should I do it one more time? One more time for a 15.7. Beat Turbo Toast. Let's try one more time. Alright. Oh, that's not going to work. Yeah, that isn't going to work. Okay, it'll do. That will do. I'm not. I'll go back and do these off camera uh, to beat certain lap times, as long as I've got the gold. So I'm. I'm still a little confused. Am I supposed to be doing the entire? Uh, no, that's not what I'm meant to do. Am I supposed to be doing the entire set? Because it hasn't told me to go back or anything. 35, 35, 5, 8 to beat for top of my board. I really should put more more Gran Turismo, more GT Planet people on. Um, all, all the people that I have are from GT Planet, so... I don't remember this track at all, so there is that as well. Oh, is this the triple... Uh, I might remember some of this. Quadruple? Okay. Mm, D 
doable. Certainly doable. Back. I mean, I think it's not too bad, the fact that after some weeks out, you jump in and you're still getting... I'm still getting a, a fail, so that's what I'm getting. Oh boy. Um, the fact that I'm still getting 30... Well, I'm getting into the gold, so I think it's okay. I'll be honest, Gran Turismo isn't really a, that challenging a title uh, at points. I think uh, Gran Turismo, it's, it's a weird title. I, I certainly, you know, I, I certainly like Gran Turismo a lot, always have. It, but it is a, a strange title when, when, you, when you end up playing it. It's a very, very strange title. That should surely be the gold. Right? There you go, 35.9. That will do. There we go. Uh, 21... Ah! I do remember this one. I do remember this corner. I remember doing it in the... Initially I did it in the Scirocco. I thought it was a much tighter corner than it actually was. So I hit the brakes and really slowed down massively for it. And for this I haven't slowed down at all. I wasn't looking. Um, I slowed down massively for it, and it turned out it was a much wider corner than I thought. So I thought, mm, okay, fine. That's also very slow. I could have gone a lot, lot, lot faster there. Yet somehow I still got the gold. That'll do, but um, I know I can go a lot faster on that. Um, do you know what? That's so close, I want to do that again. But yes, maybe maybe I should add a few GT Planet, a few more GT Planet people on here. Just as a... it just gives me more to... Uh, more to f sort of, I suppose, work against, more to, a bit more of a challenge, it puts me into a bit more, I have a bit more perspective over where, yeah, you know, where I am, and things like that. Also, that one does look like it's worth doing a replay. Just that one, that one bit there. right at the start. <sighs> the the replay tool on this is rubbish. It truly it truly is. I do that from quite a distance. Prepare the camera. See if I can figure this one out. And then we look up. Uh, No, not the, not style I want. <clears throat> Let me just move a bit closer. I just want to, th there is something I want to try here. As a potential, there we go. See, from that angle, it's the, the car actually looks substantially better. I'll move it a lot closer though. The car does look substantially better from this angle. It's it's from that reverse angle. It just looks uh, really poor. I want maybe oh, it's difficult. Can I try the other side? Yes, yes, I could. Maybe something along those lines. Again, I'm I'm looking for on this. I'm looking at this for uh, looking at it as a thumbnail. I'm saying, right, what would this look like for a thumbnail? Nothing else, really. Uh, 
Yes, see, that actually looks half decent. That's a half decent picture right there. But from the back, it just looks weird. And also, I remember when this car came out, I looked at it and I remember seeing the the sort of uh, the dip in the middle and I thought, what happened? Did someone step on it or something? Right, and now we've got a one lap attack. We might as well do this because this could give me 500k in total, which is which is not bad. 500k in, in what, 25 minutes? If I can do this, that is obviously I need to be able to pull this off. Now I wonder if the one lap attack is uh, is more forgiving. It may be, it may not be. Okay. So that's sector, well on there's I suppose that's sector one. They split it into five sectors. That was poor. Should have shifted down another gear. I wouldn't be surprised, as I said, if I only get a bronze on this, but I certainly want to in I want to try to get the gold. The weird triple quadruple corner. Triple quadruple corner, yes, that, that makes perfect sense. Triple quadruple. The one thing that I will give Gran Turismo is, is that things like this are actually quite clever, I would say. Just in, in the sense of... Oh, see, there, I slowed down way too much and that's messed up my whole lap. I, I've done that in the Scirocco before. So, uh, these little subsections and things like that, it is clever. Um, and I think that if, for example, when Assessor Corsa 2 comes out, I would like Assessor Corsa 2 to have these circuit experiences like this, where it takes you through each section with maybe, I don't know, just maybe a little bit better than this. No need to have, well, I suppose you could have bronze, silver, gold, but um, just showing you and teaching you how to do each part. Uh, and, and then hook it up together at the end. I think that would be rather remarkable. I think I am going slower than I was before. I am much slower than I was before, I think. That might have needed a second. I think a fourth gear should be okay through all of this. Then hard on the accelerator and then we're just going to accelerate out this entire thing. Essentially, I, I really do not want to be doing this multiple times. I, I will say that though. It's not something that appeals to me. As I mess up that final corner again, now that might end up me having to do it multiple times, because I do not think I'm going to reach that flag because of that, what I just did. Yeah, uh, I can get the gold on this. First step to mastery, trophy earned. Okay. I, I don't, I guess that's complete a circuit experience, maybe? I have no idea where my ghost is. See, I, I'm quite liking that line that I take through there. I think that's a decent line. This should be... Yep, I am slightly faster. I can see my ghost in the rear view. I was going to say mirror, but it's a camera. That's three tenths up. Okay, 
I think I lost a spot of time there. But I gained a lot of time there. And then slightly harder on the brakes, I think, for this, so I can ease through a little bit nicer. Oh no, that's a fail. I had a slight amount of I said a slight amount of oversteer, corrected it, and just corrected it a little bit too much. Also, I should probably point out I'm not really a fan of this circuit. I like parts of it, but not a lot of it. Ah, why am I why is my ghost ahead of me? That's abysmal. Go away, ghost. I'm not having that. It's also strange, if I'm actually racing against something, I tend to be able to judge lines better, say, right, okay. Or at least when I'm new to a track like I am here. Um, I'm able to say, right, okay, where has where that person gone wrong? Where have I gone wrong? Where's a better line? Just like I did there, where I got the first turn wrong, my ghost got ahead of me, and I just went, mm, right, okay, that is where I need to be put it, placing my vehicle to ensure that I do not mess up. And this corner is a... I really seem to mess up that corner a lot. Should have been flat, but for some reason, a spot of understeer caught me out again. However, I think I am over a second ahead, so we should be all right. And I got that corner a lot nicer, so this should be the gold. There you go, that's the gold. Done. Okay, I truly own this course. No, I do not. That sh I'll be honest, I think, personally, th maybe they should have added platinum trophies on this. That would have been quite impressive. Uh, so, platinum is a really high level. So this gives me 500k, maybe? Oh no, 54k, what? What? I thought it was 500k. 200k, oh. 700k wait where'd that go I'm so confused so oh yes okay I've got 700k great so now nearly at okay that's fine nearly at 3 million uh, let's go back to the calf cafe so I could to be honest I could go around doing that and grabbing a lot of these then uh, where's the calf You've done this again. Uh, I bet you've got a good... Actually, to be fair to this, I probably do. Just now, just a heads up, I'm going to be asking you to enter Championship next. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about your reward. Go ahead and grab it. What's my reward? I unlocked Monza. I didn't have Monza? European Championship, what do we have? We're going to unlock Colorado Springs. Um, recommended car, Porsche 911 GT3. All right, okay. So let's start this. Feel good. Now it's time for you to take on the European Championship. Top three overall. Let, let's have a look. Here we go. Here we go. So what I'm going to do is in the next video I'm going to set up my vehicle then I might guess it I might build a uh, do a livery or something with it yes we need a car with a livery here okay this looks good okay Okay, let's find out what the championship is. This could be, it could be difficult. It could be difficult. Let's find out. What does it say? And this is where I'll end. So it's this championship here. 
I require a national A license. I require a European vehicle. Rewards are only 30k. Or is that 30k per race? 600 performance points. And we're going to do Dragon Tail Garden, so that should be a piece of cake. And I know Mons and the Nurburgring. So, okay. Let's, let's have a quick look before we end. Let's have a quick look to see what vehicles we have that I could potentially take into this championship. Of course, I have that BMW, which is maybe not the greatest car to take in at this point in time. Let's, uh... Let's uh, sort this out by country. Here we go. So we've got two Alpines, both brand new. Um, we could. What are the, what's the performance points on an Alpine? Five two two. We could tune one of these up. That might be worth doing. That I'm gonna add this to favorites again. It's a new car. I won that. Uh, earlier on. Alternatively, we've got a 2007 M3 as a brand new vehicle. Um, my Scirocco, I could tune up even further. Hmm. Another, there's another M3 that I've got from brand new. I don't really care about the Tycoon at all. Uh, hmm. I could take the 8C and tune that up. There is a there is a lot of potential here. Obviously not these. These are not the right country. that car the one that we won by making by getting the exact same car um that was stupid let's see uh, I remember but i bought that but where's my rs gone there it is okay so re really we do not have that many vehicles to choose from let's have a quick look in the in the brand brand central try and find a vehicle that we could potentially use we could enter a jaguar into it this could be a really good entry actually a five liter jaguar what kind of cars am I up against? Wait a minute. This is that could be a really good entry. I think it recommended a Porsche for me. So So let's have a look. M4, there's an Alpine, a Mercedes, and it wants 600 performance points. Ah. Uh, If it wants 600, could my BMW do it? This could do it. That actually sounds like a BMW. That actually sounds like a BMW. Well, they'll stop revving you. You've just started the car up. You know not to do that. Also, it should hit a soft limiter. Wait, I'm, I'm just curious. If I select a different car, will it... Does that sound like a Lancer? Hmm. Rev. Oh. Wait, that one doesn't rev. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stick with my BM. I'm going to stick with my BM, but in the next... Yes, yes, yes. In the next 
video, what we're going to do with this BMW is we are going to apply a livery to it. That is what I'm going to do. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, I think in the tuning shop, everything that I want is perfectly, yeah, I think everything here is perfectly fine. So yeah, I'm going to make the most of my BM and apply a livery. We'll go ahead, perhaps change the wheels, add a rear wing. We're going to turn this into a proper race car and we will we will give it a go. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. That's a really nice um that's a really nice splitter. Just gonna grab it anyway. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Gran Turismo 7. Leave a comment in the comments box below. Uh, letting me know what you think. Don't forget to support me on Patreon. That's terrible. That is actually terrible. It just looks horrendous. Don't forget to support me on Patreon. As I said, uh, www.patreon.com slash ecgadget if you can afford it and you wish to support me, I would very much appreciate that support. If you can do so also, or if you want to do so, you can find me on social media at ecgadgetlp for both Twitter and Instagram. That is all from me. I think a low wing would look better here, wouldn't it? Yep, that is all from me, and I'll see you next time in Gran Turismo 7, where we are going to turn this M3 into one heck of a race car. At least, it already is a race car. We're going to make sure it looks the part for a race car.